This video is designed to give you an overview of the ski pad and is not intended to be a substitute for actual training with the product. The video needs to be assessed in line with the manual handling and cross infection policies in place within your organisation. Please bear in mind that although the video has been filmed within an NHS hospital, the equipment has been designed for use in various types of buildings where the available space is often very limited. Any manual handling techniques used within the video are merely suggested methods to move non-ambulant persons in an emergency. It is noted that there may be other acceptable alternative techniques on some occasions depending upon the physical and mental condition of the patient or resident are within slightly different environments to those portrayed. As detailed on the label, the ski pad has been safe load tested to a maximum weight of 160 kilograms, although the maximum load to be pulled downstairs should be recommended by your manual handling advisors. It is advised that a minimum of two people handle the ski pad. As a general rule, the maximum weight being pulled should not be more than the combined weight of the handlers. Each patient should have their own handling plan and this should be considered before transferring any patient using this equipment. When required in an emergency, release the Velcro strap on the outside of the case and the ski pad will automatically slide out, ready for use. The ski pad can be carried to the area where evacuation is required. If possible, open any doors in readiness for the escape planned. If time allows, always work with the bed at a comfortable height for the carers. Remove the patient's pillows and put to one side, ready for use later. To prepare the patient for evacuation, wrap in their bedding. This will ensure that they are kept warm and adds extra protection. Roll her onto her side, ensuring she is supported. Carefully place the ski pad with the black buckle facing the patient. Okay. Gently roll back onto the ski pad. before placing the feet into the pocket. Place the spare pillows across the chest, legs and one under the head if enough are available. Working in pairs, secure the cross straps and tighten to cocoon the patient on the ski pad. The straps need to be tight but comfortable for the patient. Mm. To prevent tripping, ensure the loose strap ends are tucked under the cross straps. Okay, off. Various methods of taking the patient off the bed can be used. Please consult your moving and handling department to ascertain the correct method of transfer for your own specific environment. If the type of bed and space allows, the bed can be tilted towards the foot end. Remove the foot end of the bed, lower and tilt the bed. The patient is then pulled off the foot end of the bed. Make sure to protect their head throughout this procedure, particularly as the head comes off the bed. Take the bed down to its lowest position. With the handler at each end of the ski pad, take hold of the pulling straps and move the patient into a position where they are lying at approximately 90 degrees to the bed, ready to slide off. The person at the head end keeps the strap short and starts to move backwards, allowing the ski pad to touch the floor.
The foot end operator allows the straps to move through their hands, controlling the descent of the ski pad onto the floor. Once the ski pad is on the floor, both operators should pull it from the same end. If doors are to be negotiated, the ski pad should be pulled from the head end to avoid doors closing on the patient's head. However, it is vital that the patient approaches the stairs feet first, so be careful to ensure that turning the ski pad around in a narrow corridor is not required to achieve this feet first position. With one person at each end of the ski pad, the patient can be negotiated down the stairs. It is very important that the person at the foot end keeps the pulling strap short until the upper part of the body has come over the top step. This helps to prevent excessive bending of the patient's hip and pelvic area. The operator at the head end should keep the pulling strap long and assist by slightly raising the strap as the body moves over the top step. When reaching the half landing, it is important to steer a wide course so you do not encounter problems with the central pillar of the staircase. If needed, the cross straps can be used to position the ski pad on the half landing. The foot end operator controls the speed of descent. Good communication is essential to ensure the head end operator does not overbalance in an attempt to keep pace with the carer at the lower end. Once the patient has exited the building and reached a point of safety, the cross straps can be loosened to ensure the patient is comfortable. If you have any questions or would like to request more information on the ski pad, please contact Hospital Aids.